Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have my update for Project Level Up. I am so excited. So this was a project created by Sophie Alexandra and it combines Pan Those Eyeshadows, No Pan Left Behind, Pan That Palette. So the goal is with each level to use every shade in the palette a certain number of times and hit a certain number of pans. So for level one, it's one use each and one pan. Level two, two uses each and two pans and so on. A lot of people are going up to level five and resetting. I have decided that personally I want to go only up to level three. I want to do kind of the easier version of this project because even hitting three pans in a palette in a short amount of time is a little bit of an intimidating task for me, but I am currently on level two and I have been working on my Sigma Cinderella palette. So I'm gonna go through my uses on these and let you know if I hit my goals with this palette. But before we get into it, if you would consider subscribing, I would greatly appreciate it. I am trying to get to 500 subscribers and if you are willing, I would be just so thankful. So we can jump into today's video. So I will insert a picture of what this palette looked like when I rolled it in last month. And here is what we look like now. So there are definitely some differences in this palette. I hope you can already tell. I will be running through my progress with each individual shade. I will be inserting pictures of the looks I created on the screen as I talk about them. There is, There are a lot of looks this month, so those will be just kind of cycling through on the screen. I've been working on this palette for about a month and a half now. It's only been about a month since I updated, but I had rolled it in right after I rolled out my previous level one palette. So it's been about a month and a half, I would say, since I started working on these. So going through each individual shade, starting with the shade Wishful right here. So I reached for this one 10 times to hit pan and I used it two additional times. I don't know if you'll be able to see that there's a pan in this shade. It's pretty small. I was using this mostly in the inner corner and it kind of blends in with the shadow around it. So I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but I do promise there is a pan in there. This was such a beautiful shade. Like I said, I use this a lot in my inner corner and it was gorgeous. Sigma doesn't always have my favorite shimmers. I feel like they sometimes tend to be more sort of topper shades, but that one is super pretty and has a nice impact to it. So the next shade here, Pumpkin, I reached for three times. So I hit my goal. I need to use each of these shades at least twice. So I definitely hit my goal with that one. Fantasy, I reached for just the two times, but I did reach my goal, so I am more than happy about that. Next up we have Courtyard, which I reached for 13 times in this project, and I think you'll be able to see I do have a small pan in that one as well. That one had probably the best dip on this to begin with. It is a little bit more powdery than the other mattes in this palette, so I did know that that was going to be one I wanted to focus on, and I'm really happy I did choose that one. I will be honest, there are times when I kind of dug into it a little more than I probably should have, but I really wanted that pan, and I feel like I did get a good number of uses on this one in order to get pan. So that is my second pan for this palette, for this project, so very excited about that one. Next to that we have One of a Kind, which I used twice. I also use Kindness and Charming twice as well. Moving on to the second row, we start with Mischievous, and I use that one four times. Dressmakers, I used five times. That is such a pretty lid shade. I was reaching for that with a lot of the neutral looks I was creating. That one was just so pretty. That's probably one of my favorite shades in this palette, if not my favorite. It's just so perfect for everyday looks, so pretty, and I love it. Next we have Cinders, which I reached for twice. 
and Sweet Nightingale I also reached for twice. That one definitely took me the longest to hit my uses on. I just had it in my head that I wasn't the biggest fan of this shade. Using it those couple times, I realized that it is a really pretty shade. It's a little out of my comfort zone with it being a brighter blue, but it was super pretty on the eye, so I'm really happy I got my uses on that one. Next up we have Hopeful, which I reached for three times, and then Bippity Boppity Boo and Stroke of Midnight I reached for twice each. So I did hit all of my usage goals and I hit my pan goals with this palette, so I am so happy to say I completed level two with this palette. I honestly didn't know if I was going to be able to get there before the before filming this update, but I am so excited that I did. I will be able to roll in a new palette for level three, which is a little scary, but I was really happy to get my uses on this palette. It is a really nice palette. It was one I hadn't been reaching for a ton, not for any particular reason. It was just kind of getting a little neglected in my collection, so I was really happy when it rolled into this project, and I was able to get a good number of uses on this palette, and fall a little bit more in love with it. So I was just really happy about this. I think it worked out really well. And I have my first two pans in this palette, which is super exciting. So like I said, we will be rolling in my level three palette. I have a wheel with all of my eligible palettes in it, so we can go ahead and choose one. I definitely like the randomization aspect of this project, so I'm going to randomly select my palette. Nabla Secret. That one's going to be fun. Alright, so I have my Nabla Secret palette here, and I am very excited to be rolling this one in. So I currently don't have any pans in this palette, but I have hit pan in another Nabla palette, and it didn't really take me long, too long to hit pan on that shade, so I'm hoping it's about the same in this one. So there are 15 shades in here. I will need to use each of them three times, which sounds kind of like a lot, but I'm up for it. And I will also need to hit three pans. This isn't necessarily the time of year I would be reaching for this palette if I was going seasonally with my makeup. This kind of feels more like a spring palette to me, but I feel like it does have a good amount of neutrals in it that will be easy to reach for and... I'm definitely excited to play around with this palette. In terms of what I think I will be able to hit pan on, it is quite honestly going to be three of the shimmers most likely. I really do like the mattes in here, but I feel like no matter how many times I've used them so far, they don't look super used. So I feel like we're going to maybe focus on some shimmers with this palette. I'm feeling like Play Hard will definitely be one of the ones I get. Maybe I Promise, Hyper Sensual, Aesthetic right here. I would really love to go for Rosemary or Fantasize, so I'm just going to kind of have to wait and see a little bit. I like to kind of speculate when I'm going to hit Pan on, but in reality I just kind of like to dig into the palette first and see kind of what moves along the easiest. So this is going to be my level 3 palette for the next update. I'm not sure how long this will take me. Hopefully not too, too long, but there are some high goals with this one, at least for me personally, so we are going to have to see how long this one takes me. So let me know what you guys think of this new roll-in. Have you hit pan on this palette? How long did it take you? I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. So that will conclude today's update. I am super excited about Having a new roll in, I love when I can continue to move this project along. So let me know what you guys thought of this project, what you thought of this update. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And with all of that said, I will see you in my next video. Bye!